all of the species in an ecosystem are connected through a complex food web. And reducing the biodiversity of an ecosystem by hurting even one species can disrupt the entire ecosystem. The consequences of reducing an ecosystem's biodiversity are very difficult to predict, but the consequences can be permanent. One of the main ways humans reduce populations is through the destruction of habitats. This is often done through the process of deforestation. Some species live in only one place, and when that habitat is destroyed, the species becomes extinct. This is a common occurrence when rainforests are destroyed. Rainforests are the most diverse biomes. When a section of rainforest is removed, any species that only lived in that section is gone forever. Humans also contribute to the reduction of species by overhunting certain animals. These animals are usually hunted for their fur, horns, or tusks. In the 1800s, bison were hunted to the brink of extinction in America, and this was actually mostly just for sport. Most of these overhunted animals are endangered species that are illegal to hunt, but illegal hunters called poachers still hunt these animals to make a profit. The black rhinoceros is an endangered species that's poached for its horn. This horn can be sold in the black market for a high profit. The poaching of elephants has had a negative effect on some forests. This is because elephants eat fruit and spread seeds. Without the elephants, the trees cannot spread their seeds. This example shows how connected the organisms in an ecosystem can be, and how reducing one population can affect another, and how that can often be hard to predict. Overfishing is a similar problem that affects aquatic ecosystems. Reducing one population of fish can negatively affect the entire ecosystem. Some fish eat algae, thus controlling the algae population. But if these fish are removed, it can lead to an algal bloom. Algal blooms can create dead zones by removing oxygen from the water. This can destroy entire ecosystems and kill many other types of marine life. Removing an apex predator, like sharks, can also create problems. Sharks control the populations of other fish. Without sharks, other populations would grow out of control, disrupting the entire ecosystem.